Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Tax Laws video. Today Huawei has presented the brand new Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro here in Munich, Germany. And I've already one of the brand new Mate 10 Pro devices which we are going now to unbox. On the box you can see we got again the cooperation with Leica. We got a dual camera on the backside. Again 20 megapixel monochrome, 12 megapixel colored RGB and the RGB colored uh, lens is also supporting OIS. Then on this press sample box we get some information. We got two EMI numbers so we got dual SIM. The pro version got dual SIM but no micro SD card. We got mocha brown as color, we got 128 GB and 6 GB of RAM and of course the Kirin 970. On the back side we see again the, all our certifications and one is new. The TÜV Rhineland has certified Huawei's fast, super fast charge technology. And now let's open it up. The device has already been opened or the box has already been opened because these are press samples, media kits, which Huawei is, um, I guess, controlling if everything is okay. So there we get our device. Let's get it out and directly remove the screen protection or the backside protection. And first impression. Nice, nice. This is mocha brown, but I would expect they've got a slight color of rose gold. You get some silver, some copper. Uh, nice, but let's first check out what else is in the box. We got on the right side, we got headphone jack, charger and the cable. Yes, we got the headphone jack, uh, headphone jack, the headphones, which are new because the headphones got a USB type C port. No normal headphone jack because the USB Mate 10 Pro does not have a headphone jack. The normal Mate 10 got one but not the Pro. Yes we got a still an infrared port. So we got the headphones, we got the USB to USB type C charging cable and we got our supercharger with the normal USB port of course, Huawei branding and an output of 5 volt 4.5 ampere which should give uh, 20, uh, 22.5 watt. So this is sufficient enough to charge the 4400 milliampere battery built into the Mate 10 Pro. Uh, on the other side, let's see what we got here. We get again a case, of course. We get a get these through case. Then we got our SIM card tool. We got no papers, no warranty, no first starting guide here because these are the press samples and I guess the German press samples still don't got the guide. And another thing is missing. This is still in the press media kit here, which we got at the end of the presentation, uh, where there is also, let's get it out. There's this little card here, for example. Keep in mind, this is a review unit. You don't sell it and some things maybe not be yet f uh, totally done. And there's also our adapter. Not lightning to USB by Apple, but this looks definitely close related to the Apple uh, lightning headphone jack adapter. So this is USB type C to the normal headphone jack 3.5 millimeters. So now the device. First, whoa, this is such a big step coming from the normal Huawei Mate 10 from last year. The new Mate 10 Pro is, of course, way not, not bigger, but it feels way slimmer in your hands. You are closely related to a Mate S than to the Mate 9, for example. But still, both devices, I guess, got the same thickness. Both devices got still the same 4000 mAh battery, but Overall, this is definitely a totally other feeling if you get put this device in someone's hand. Now we got not 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but 18 by 9. So it's larger. We got a 6 inch display, 2K resolution, so 2160 by 1080. Um, and we get an OLED display. So normal Mate 10 is only IPS. This is OLED Pentile Matrix, of course. We get an 8 megapixel front facing camera on the back side. Please notice there's a Huawei logo on, down here, but no fingerprint sensor. On the Mate 10, there's a fingerprint sensor down here. On the Pro version, the fingerprint sensor is still on the back side. We get the Leica dual cameras, of course. And we get a glass back cover, so no, no full body aluminum case anymore. 
Uh, what about operating the on and off button and the volume bar? With my right hand, no problems to reach the on off button and the volume down button, but I can't reach the volume up button. With my left hand, I can reach the volume down, uh, the on off button, the volume down button, but not the volume up, volume up button. Just I'm going to switch it on. So start the device. On top we get our antennas, we get a microphone, we get the uh, infrared port. So you still can use the device as a remote. And you can see there is a screen protection on the device. And yes, we got stereo sound. So both speakers are working together. And down here, still no headphone jack. We got the microphone, USB Type-C and the speaker. Oh, I guess another uh, microphone. And on the left side, we get the car, SIM card tray for, for the SIM cards, two SIM cards, no micro SD. And I have to say, first impression, holding this device in my hand and looking at it, nice, really nice. This is way slimmer. And now we got the same 4000 mAh battery. We got the new power saving Kirin 970 and we got the OLED display. So Huawei is telling us the new Mate 10 Pro or the Mate 10 should last around 30% longer than the previous generations, than the Mate 9 generation. But I have to say, for a price of 800 euros, which I still think is okay, the normal Mate 10 costs only 700 euros, is compared to LG and Samsung, to the V30 and the Note 8, for example, a good price and a price Huawei has to offer to, to stay competitive. But First of all, first impression, first hands-on, you now saw what's in the box, what you get with the device, and the first impressions of build quality and feeling in my hand. Nice device. But this is it. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you all in the next video. Bye.